Hello people, this is Gumadi. Today I'd like to showcase the $1 note and the $1 coin. As you can see, the $1 note is brown in colour, blah 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 blah. Most of the information you can find online. Um, here I have a sequential series which is pretty common. You can generally pick these notes up in uncirculated condition for about 8 bucks. So they're not rare. With this last signature, the banknote you want to get is the uh, DPS prefix letters, in which they are worth about forty bucks, uncirculated each. Um, no, these will replace the nine and eighty-four with the one dollar coin, which I have here. For those foreign nationals, I've included a 1 euro coin and a 25 cent from Canada as a reference. And a lot of things that people who visit Australia have a problem with is the fact that the $1 coin is larger than the $2 coin, but it's made out of the same metal. New Zealanders generally have a problem with uh, distinguishing this because their one dollar coin is smaller than their two dollar coin. But as you can see, it's probably similar size to the Canadian dollar or the United States dollar, and pretty similar to the one euro, but different metal. Okay, this one dollar coin is pretty common, so is the two dollar. <coughs> in fact, all Australian coins and banknotes are pretty common in circulation, unlike some countries, like uh, the United States 50 cent coin, which I heard is not really used, or the two dollar banknote, or the Canadian 50 cent. But as far as I know, m most European countries use all the Euro coins. Also, I've given a contrast with the United States banknote, one dollar. Yeah, I'd have to say American currency is not my favourite. It's probably one of the worst in the world. I call it photocopy money. A lot of modern technology you can pretty much quite easily photocopy that. Wouldn't cost you one dollar to photocopy that. Yeah, you could probably get about five or six for about ten. 20 cents. Yeah, it's a good thing for counterfeiters. So I hope they change it sooner or later. Okay, I'll show you the reserve reverse side. <laughs> has this portrait and Wikipedia has details of who made it and how it was actually stolen from uh, an artist, but I, I can't remember his name. He was paid a, I don't know, a few thousand dollars for his stolen design. In which it should have been paid at least a few million. Yeah, but that's Australia. White people ripping off Aboriginals. Nothing brand new about that. I'll show the reverse side of this one dollar. As you can see, change the Queen's portrait three times. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, if you have any details of how I could um, improve a video, I'm just starting out, so I have no idea. Really had to do a video. No idea how to edit one. Maybe I'll improve on that later. Um, or if you have any, any questions about the banknotes and coins, or about Australia, um, yeah, just write it down. Okay. Thank you very much and have a nice day.